Hey guys, it's Casey Richmond here again from Everly Stock. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the LP1 Fanny Top Pack and how I attach it to my mainframe little big top setup. Um, there's a ton of different ways to attach this. It has molly webbing on the bottom, so you can attach it on a lot of different parts of your pack. Um, but I'll show you how I specifically use it and what I use it for. So just a brief overview of the Fanny Top Pack. This uh, pouch is 300 cubic inches, and it actually is a fanny pack. So it comes with a waist strap, and this can go around your waist. Um, it can also be tucked away if you're not using it underneath this molly panel. And um, some people really like this option so that if they're going to go on a stock, maybe on an early season deer hunt, they can leave their pack maybe under a tree, take off their fanny top pack, and then strap it to their waist and have water rangefinder, wind, you know, different things that they might need as they're going in to stock the deer. So the Fanny Top Pack has three zippered pockets. Uh, there's one here on the side, which can actually hold our two liter hydration bladder. And there's a little port here so that um, if this pack is on the outside of, your, outside of your pack, the hose from your hydration bladder can come and uh, kind of rest here on your shoulder. There's a smaller one here in the back that has a little clip. So if you need to, you know, store your keys or some smaller items, and then there's a large one, a large zippered pocket on the top of the fanny top pack, which is usually where I carry the majority of, uh, of my camera gear. And I like having my camera stuff in the fanny top pack because I use this as a floating lid. So I like having my camera gear, you know, not on the bottom of my pack. I like having easy access to it, and, um, and I like having it just you know, being able to open this pocket and see all of my camera gear at once. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to attach the Fanny Top Pack to your pack. So I'm using my tall mainframe with my little big top. And to secure the Fanny Top Pack, um, you're going to use the two straps that are actually on the Fanny Top Pack and loop them around the top handle of the mainframe or the whatever pack you're using. So I have those looped around and then buckled back at the top. So that'll secure the, the back side of the fanny top pack. All right, so as you can see, there's still a lot of slack. So if I have my little big top filled, it's a roll top, so it'll expand all the way up to here. I can loosen the fanny top pack and have this lid up higher. So that's why I call it a floating lid. This will actually adjust to you know, the height of your pack. So if you look at the bottom side of the fanny top pack, you'll see there's a whole molly panel here where you can mount kind of whatever. I have an airwave pouch here with some strike force, but this is actually um, what I'll use to secure the front portion of the fanny top pack. So with a mainframe, you have compression straps. I use the top compression strap to loop around basically the front of this uh, strap that comes on the fanny top pack on both sides and then I will buckle it down to the other side and with this tight this will now hold down the fanny top pack so if you're using a mainframe I think that this is the easiest and cleanest way to attach your fanny top pack um, it's super secure, it's not going anywhere, and it's fully adjustable. So no matter what you have in your pack, whether you load it up or you don't have a lot, you can you know, always adjust it. So another little variation you can do uh, is if you're running like this setup right here, you have a lot of female buckles that are kind of empty. So you can use um, one compression strap on each side. So if you see here, I have one, I have a compression strap on this side connected to the middle female buckle and the top female buckle on my little big top and the same on this side. So basically it's held separately on each side. Um, it's maybe a little more secure depending on what you're carrying, but uh, both ways have worked fine for me. So like most of our accessories, the fanny top pack can be mounted a lot of different ways onto our packs. Um, we've seen people using the waist strap that comes with the fanny top pack to help secure it. Um, you can use accessory straps to just strap it pretty much anywhere on your pack. You can use the molly panel that's on the back side to mount it anywhere you see molly uh, webbing on our packs. And so it's super versatile. Um, 
I love using this, you know, like I said, for my camera gear. I use it pretty much with any pack setup I have, um, just because I, I'm used to having my, my camera gear in this, uh, this top pack, and it adds just a little more storage. Like I said, it, you, know, you can put your water bladder in there. There's a ton of different options for it. So we'd love to see how you guys use it. Um, we, I'm sure we haven't seen every possibility yet, so feel free to send us pictures or comment how you guys use it. And then if you have any questions, feel free to email us at customerservice at everlystock.com or give us a call, and we'll be happy to walk you through you know, how to properly use the Fanny Top Pack. So thank you.